Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, make sure you do. Just click there. So today, I thought I'd do something which isn't necessarily slim and wood friendly, but it is something very crucial right now. As many of you may have found, if you've been to the supermarket, dried pasta has been a nightmare to get. Um, most supermarkets have sold out. People seem to have bought, bought that at the early days, and I didn't. So um, I thought today what I'd do is show you how easy it is to make your own pasta. Now it is going to be obviously fresh pasta, not dry pasta, and on Slim World they say that you should sin it, but mine um, doesn't have any oil in it. So I'm going to do two versions, I'm going to do a vegan and a normal. Both really, really simple and both very similar recipes. But I just want to show you how easy it is to make it, one, without a pasta machine, and two, without too many ingredients. And hopefully you've either got these ingredients in your store cupboards already, or you can get them or you know somebody you can borrow it from. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh out my plain flat into two plastic bowls. So I'm doing a vegan version and I'm doing a normal version. So let's go and do this. And honestly, I promise you, you won't believe how simple this really is. And it's a great one for the kids, by the way. All right, so let's get cracking. Right, shall we start with the um, normal one? And I don't mean that vegans aren't normal. Um, so I'm sorry if I offended by saying normal, but I'm not quite sure how I can explain it any other way. So this is your standard, it's going to be standard pasta. Although vegan pasta could be standard, I don't know. Right, I'm not going to bury myself into a hole. I'm just going to go on and do this. So all I've got in here is 140 grams of plain flour. Now to that, all I'm going to add is one yolk and then a full egg. Oops, there we go. Just got half the yolk all over my uh, counter. Let me just go and get something to clean my hands with. Okay. And um, what we need to do now is combine all of that together. Okay. Once it's mixed as much as you can, get your hands in there. All right, and this is where the kids are gonna love it. Okay, now just for interest, this was a medium egg as well. So these are two medium eggs. Okay, and what you want is to try and work this all into a ball, all right? Right, so you can now see that this is coming together, okay, into a ball. It's taken a long time, I promise you it has, okay. I just took some out because I didn't want you to get bored of seeing me do this, okay. So what you need to do now is get a bit of flour onto your surface here, okay, and knead it for a little while, okay, about five minutes, okay. What you want is your dough to be smooth, okay. Right, so when you're happy it's smooth, and if you can see that, put it in some cling film and pop it in the fridge for 10 minutes, okay? So while I do that, I'm going to go on to my vegan one. I will clean this board down because there is egg there left over from my um, crack of the egg, and I do not want egg in my vegan one. So we put this into cling film in the fridge, and we'll start the next one. Right, so this is the vegan one. So all I'm going to do is make a well in the middle there. Uh, I'm just going to add about two tablespoons of hot water and i say hot this is uh been out the kettle uh, for about five ten minutes just to cool down and i'm just going to cover it okay with the uh, flour and then mix it around okay and i'm going to try and do exactly what i did with the egg now i might need a little bit more water we will see okay it's best to put too little in then not enough and again you're going to spend a little while combining this all together. Right guys, I think I'm almost there with this. I have had to add a bit more water throughout, but I've been very careful to keep it quite a dry mix, okay? So let's get rid of my bowl, okay? And then to get a little bit of flour on my surface, and as with the, um, the other one, I just need to knead it for about five 
minutes. Okay, so I'll come back and I'll show you that when I've done it. Right, so that's my vegan one, which I'm gonna put in cling film in the fridge again, and then I'll clean this down and then we'll start on the first one I did. Um, the vegan one was a lot more harder work than the egg one, um, purely because of getting the water right. Um, but if you're vegan, guys, it's worth it, honestly. All right, well, I'll say that. We haven't cooked it yet. Let me get this into cling film and we'll start on cutting the pasta to size. Guys, if you have made one of each, like I have, and you're not quite sure which one's which, the egg one obviously is more yellowy, all right? So I know that's obvious, but um, if you really aren't sure, then that is the way to tell, all right? Right then, let's get making some pasta. <coughs> Excuse me. So this has been in the fridge and I'm just gonna get some flour to coat my work surface. Okay, now what I suggest is that isn't a massive ball, but I would divide it into two or even three if you want to, okay, and set it aside. I'm just going to wrap it back in the cling film for now and then get your rolling pin, okay, and plenty of flour on your pin and just roll it, okay, and you just keep rolling it until you get to about one eighth of an inch, okay, which is very thin, all right, okay. Right, I don't know if you can see how thin, you can actually see light through it, okay? So I'm happy with that at the moment. Now I need to make this into pasta, and there's a couple of things you can do. You can either use a knife or pizza cutter, which is what I'm gonna do. And it depends on what you wanna do with it, right? So this, first of all, we'll make into Sort of like tagliatelle strips, okay? So just make them as thick as you want. Oops. Yeah, try and keep them straight line, not like me. Could get a ruler and do this properly if you really wanted to. Right, okay, and got a tray here. Just gather it all up like so and then just pop it on the tray spread it out as best you can here and then you can just set that aside to dry until you need it now that's obviously only going to serve for one person so let me do some more so that is nice and thin again can you see through see my fingers brilliant right i just want to show you another thing you can do um i am going to do tagliatelle for me tonight but i just want to show you something else you can do so i'm just going to cut this out here for you. Can we just move that to one side for a second? And make this into an oblong, straight as I can. If you have a perforated thing, you can do it that way. Just then pinch it in the middle, like so, and you've got little bows. So those will be quite sweet if you've got kids that want something slightly different. Now, obviously, if you had perforated cutter, that would look more, even more attractive, wouldn't it? Okay, so, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do some tagliatelle, which I will crack on with. Okay. Right, so I've just redone my surface because I'm now looking at the vegan one. <clears throat> so let me just get it out. There we go. And again, I'm gonna cut that in half. Cut it in half, tear it in half. And I'm doing exactly the same with this as I did with the normal. Right, so there are my two trays of pasta. So this is the vegan one, and then this is the normal. And all I'm gonna do is leave this out to dry um, for at least an hour. I don't need it um, for a couple of hours, actually. So I'm just gonna leave it out to dry. Um, this will keep in the fridge for about three days, okay? Two to three days, so you could make it in advance. Um, but so far, I think you'll find it's been really easy. 
and the kids will love it apart from it is a bit hard work binding the vegan one um and you just need to balance the water a little bit on it but i'm gonna set those aside now and um in about two hours time i'm going to cook them and i will show you how i did it um just to warn you um fresh pasta cooks much quicker than dry pasta so you're only looking about three minutes and it will float in the water but i will show you that okay right i know this is about homemade pasta but i thought i'd show you this the sauce i'm going to make um it's not just sauce it's going to have the vegetables and the meat in it as well so i've got my water boiling to here um which is going to be for my pasta but my sauce is obviously quite important so <coughs> i'm going to add into my saucepan on my burkhoff pan with no oil one chopped onion and uh, one chopped pepper okay i'm just going to put it all in together there we go all right i'm just going to cut that off <coughs> Bit of onion. Okay. These burger pans, I can't say enough, they are great because you don't need oil at all. Okay, I'm just going to cook those. What I'm going to do is pop the lid on to keep the moisture. There we go. While I prep my uh, spices. <clears throat> now, because this is um, a chicken chorizo dish, it is already going to have paprika, so I don't need any more paprika. But I want a bit of heat into it, so I'm going to add some chili powder to this. I think that is probably all I'm going to add in from a spice point of view. Along, just gonna add some hot chili into that. And some pepper. Good mix so all that blends in. Okay. And all I'm going to do now is pop in some tin tomatoes. So my voice is going, I don't know why, <clears throat> into that. And just give it a little stir. Said no oil has gone here at all. You don't need these burger pans. <clears throat> you just um, mix it. There we go. Right, so that just needs the lid on and chicken to cook. And my water is boiling lovely, but as the pasta only takes about three minutes, I'm going to turn that down just to a simmer. Okay, and we'll come back to this. Right, this is looking amazing. Smells lovely, looks lovely, and it's great. So what I'm gonna do to this now is I'm gonna add a loads of mozzarella. Okay. And I'm gonna to add to that some mixed herbs, just to give it an extra flavor. You don't have to do this, but I think it might be quite nice. I can't wait for the summer when I've got my fresh herbs to put in there. Um, oh, right. And then what I've also got is some spring onions here, which are dried, okay? So I'll just pop a few of those on. Okay. Right, so I'm just gonna mix all that in. Dried um, spring onions are great to have in your store cupboard as well. Um, I have got some fresh, I should put those in maybe, but I like 
like the uh, dry because they have some really good flavours. Okay, so I'm going to pop those in and put the lid on. And what I'm going to do is swap the um, pasta sauce over to my water here. Right, so I'm just going to get it up to heat a little bit. And I'm going to pop some salt in there, not much. There you go. And get it to boil. Now, you probably can't see this, actually, let me bring it here. Right, can I just show you this? Okay. This is a video on my Maria Crafts for You website. And it's something I want you to do for your friends, family, neighbours. Um, just give them a little heart to say you're thinking of them. So if you've got anybody who's um, self-isolating because of coronavirus, um, I just would love for people to give a heart out to all their friends and family just to show that you care about them. So I will post that on my other um, site and I'll link it in below here for you. So my water's boiling here, so I'm just going to get it to really, really hot. Right guys, let's pop my fresh pasta in. So this is the egg one. Okay. It's probably hard for you to see this, but the pasta has actually risen to the top, so it's starting to cook. Um, and that's what you want. So I don't know if you can see it's starting to let me turn it down a little bit because I've got it on high. Um, but it is coming to the top, and that's how you know. Obviously, with Tangatelli, there's a lot in that. But if you were doing, say, the ribbons or you have some sort of shapes you did, when it starts to float, you know it's ready. So that's your indicator that your pasta is done. Okay, this is the regular pasta, not the vegan pasta. I still have my vegan pasta here, which I will use during the week for another meal. I'm not going to waste it. And I say I will use it for another meal. Okay. But you can see now that this is cooked. Okay. So what I'm going to do is drain this and then start to dish. You can see it's all raisin to the top, top even. <coughs> my voice is going, I don't know why. Um, but yeah. This is looking good, okay. Right guys, here is my dish with my chicken and chorizo. Now, um, dry pasta is free, fresh isn't. What I would say to you here is I haven't used no oil in my pasta. So use the um, app to work out the measurements. So 140 grams of flour, with eggs, eggs are free, flour, so it's in your flour, and I think you'll actually find this isn't so bad. <clears throat> and in an environment where you can't get pasta at the moment, sometimes making your own and using your sins wisely is probably the best version. So my voice is really going right now, I don't know why. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, we've got some mozzarella in here. Now I've actually got more than half of this left actually over there. So this is a quarter of what I put in there. I haven't had any cheese today, so I'm going to pop on here a little bit grated. So this is, um, in here, is 20 grams of cheese, okay? Not even one half extra egg. So I'm just going to pop that on top just to melt it and give hubby some, and that's it, okay? Wow, guys, what do you think? Okay, it is so easy to make your own pasta. Yes, you have to sin it. It's not like dried, and I don't quite get the reason for that but it is what it is but if you can't get pasta and your kids want pasta and you want pasta this is a really good way I have to say I prefer the regular because it was easier to work with but if you're vegan it's not the end of the world guys you know you can do both both are great and they taste great and you know hubby and I really enjoyed this tonight so I hope you did so don't despair when you go to the supermarket, you can't get pasta. If you've got kids, guys, it's a great thing to get them working with you. And if they um, work with you and they make this, they are more inclined to do it. You can make lasagna with it. Just make it into sheets. 
make those ribbons, make little bows. You can do so much. As I said, I made it quite simple today, just for this video. But if you want to be creative, do it. <clears throat> I probably lose my voice actually. I I'm really apologise for this. Um, but you know, guys, similar has been difficult because we can't buy what we want. But you can make other things. Be creative, have fun, and get the kids involved. They're at home at the moment and they're bored like we are probably. So enjoy it. Okay, guys, if you like that, you want more, click subscribe. <clears throat> I am struggling, aren't I? Subscribe, notifications, and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, see you next video. I will see you on my next video, I promise. <clears throat> and my voice will not go. Okay, see you later. Bye, bye.